Kelvin, welcome to Australia in Space TV. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, my name's Kelvin, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> I look, I represent SciTech. Uh, SciTech at this uh, inaugural space conference Is at the moment. Is this your first time? No, okay. at the moment. We've been here for 2017 since. Nice. And this but is probably how our... How many times have you been at an Australian Space Forum? Six or seven times for wow. now. Okay. Well, that must obviously uh, bring repeat business in. Tell us a little bit about SciTech. So SciTech is a core business where we help out a lot of space primes, space startups, yep. and government organizations in providing space qualification equipment testing. So you're doing mainly the testing side before we, it goes out? Correct, but we provide the actual equipment for you to do, for you to do the testing, yes. as opposed to doing the service. And we found that that was a, a capability of ours uh, five years ago, uh, especially with the whole umbrella term of us, what we're doing is vacuum. Yep. And in space, everything sucks, <laughs> and it's in vacuum, all right? Nice. Uh, is this a sort of a, some models that you've got here in terms of the, the platforms, the, the vacuum platforms that you have? For sure. So what you see here is some equipment used in what we call a thermal vacuum chamber or a yep. vacuum chamber. We have some valves to isolate the chamber. We have some mass flow meters to inject gas for propulsion testing. And we have the core pumps to do your actual low earth orbit simulation down to 500 kilometers above sea level. Nice. And what type of standards are you working to to, to test this equipment? Uh, do you test it to failure? Do you test it to a particular standard? What are some of the numbers uh, around some of this testing? Yep, so it depends on who the customer is or what they want to do. Normally most customers probably go with an ASTM method yep. and some go with actually what we call an ISO method. So it depends on which where the end goal is. Are they getting sent it into the US or in the European area or is it in Australia as well? A lot of customers just do a basic thermal cycle or some testing just to test the fail and see what they can do to improve and prevent more uh, failures from happening in that yep. sense. And how? What, t tell us about the company, some, some of the numbers, yep. where are you based? So I'm based in Sydney, the yep. company itself we have around 25 people, yep. uh, the main head office is in Lane Cove and we have a workshop in Melbourne, yep. we have a home office in Adelaide and Brisbane and we have a new office in New Zealand. In total of people, we're about 25 people. Yep. And at the moment, we have about eight factory trained service engineers as well. And we readily send them to overseas for training to all of these brands that we represent. Got it. Well, look, we'll find out more. How do we find out more? So you can either go to the QR code okay. and scan. Otherwise, Kelvin and connect Ho with me, Kelvin LinkedIn. Ho, right? Nice. Or you can go to our website at SciTech, or you can also come visit us at the stand. And what's your booth number here? It says it should be booth number 43. Okay, I'm just remember. testing you on that one. Okay. Otherwise, you can come, come to our booth at number 25. So, Kelvin awesome. Ho, thanks for joining us on no Australia worries. Space TV. Thank you, Chris. Thank Good you for your time. Cheers. Cheers.